guys, my name is Emily Lopez and I am debt free. Yay! I wanted to kind of tell, um, just make a video about my journey, my debt free journey. So I paid off around $15,000 in nine months. And the first thing I want to talk about is um, how I started and how I learned about Dave Ramsey. And then number two, uh, my top three tips because most of this video is for you guys to really learn about uh, Dave Ramsey and how to go through the process. Um, and then the last part would be my own journey and how I did it. Uh, so number one being is how I started. And I guess that's also why I started is because of my sister. So my sister is has three kids, three, and she's a single mom and she has a mortgage and everything. And she started on her journey on her own. And, um, and one day she called my mom and she's like, Hey, I paid off, you know, 10 to $12,000. And, uh, I think it was around their estimated and credit card. And I was shocked. I, I couldn't believe that my sister with three kids and mortgage doing it on her own on one income, how she could do that. Knowing that the year before that she was living paycheck to paycheck and, I, I was in awe. I wanted to know more, so I contacted her, and I was like, hey, so I'm really happy for you. How did you get started? And she's like, uh, Dave Ramsey. <laughs> and that was the first time I had ever heard of Dave Ramsey. Um, I have, I'd never heard of him. And so I was like, okay, you know, and she's like, well, just, uh, she's like, I recommend, you know, and that's like the number one tip that I have is to either read or listen to uh, Total Money Makeover. So that's his uh, first book that got him started. And so that's what I did. I just started with that and, and um, I listened to the audio. And that's where I learned about the baby steps. And I'll list those below um, <clears throat> in, the, in the description. And so uh, when I learned about uh, the audio book, I was like, okay, let me listen to it and then um, I just, I couldn't believe it. And <laughs> my dog was barking. Okay, so, and one of the main things that I learned about it is um, how to start my journey. And then, um, and then, so that's what I did head on. Uh, and then I would recommend that once you're done with the book and you kind of get your feel of, of how to get started, then I would recommend tip number two would be to... Um, really listen to his podcast and or radio. Um, he has his own app. So I downloaded like the Dave Ramsey app and I just started listening. Uh, he posts about three uh, segments uh, every single day. So I mean, you have enough content to listen to on your way to work, on your way home, on your, or wherever you're going. And so that's what I did. I was uh, listening to him um, every day that I could or any time that I could listen to him at the gym sometimes. Um, <clears throat> and I really was able to grasp uh, and like the debt-free screams, man, they just give you chills. And I mean, sometimes you get teary-eyed on your way to work. You're just like, wow, like you want to be there and you want to be debt-free and, and to feel that accomplishment. And knowing for, at least for me, is like learning that I can change my future and then eventually one day my kids' futures. Um, and then, so that would be number two. I mean, you need something to keep you motivated. You can't just like, I mean, if you need to listen to the book every day, then I mean, that whatever works for you. But for me it was to see real people pay off how much money they could pay off, pay off mortgages, um, and to see them that, and it doesn't matter how long it takes, like if it's taking you four months or you feel like three years or five years, um, as long as you have a goal in mind, as long as you, you but you need that to keep you motivated. Because even in my nine months, I thought it was a long time. And I needed that daily reminder of why I was really doing this. Um, you know, because you get in that comfort zone of like, oh, you know, maybe not this month, but maybe next month. And so... Uh, you need that. You need that motivation. You need a community. You need people to keep you uh, in your zone. You know, me and my sister, I would text her, hey, look, I paid off this. And sometimes I would Snapchat my friends and be like, look, I paid off my last student loan. Or, you know, I mean, it it's 
it's something to keep you motivated and to know that people are not depending on you, but kind of like, you know, if you can do it, like I can change my future. And then uh, tip number three would be to budget. Uh, I think that's highly important. Um, and so what I did, and I'm going to post like an Excel sheet sample that I use. Um, <clears throat> that way, if you want something to get you started, I use Excel. Some people write it down. I mean, use whatever works for you. Uh, some people are talking about the envelope system. I'm very not carry cash kind of person. So I did what worked for me and I do everything online and I put all my expenses online. And so I'll post it and it, it just shows my finances of my credit cards that I had. And, you know, I put everything zero so you can like add in your own credit card and the amount. And then um, I also uh, had your, my expenses. So that was very important. You need to figure out how much money a month you need to survive. This means gas, electricity, car note. If you have a car payment, I didn't have one of those, um, but like gas, cell phone, Spotify, uh, gym membership. I mean, I even I budgeted gas for my vehicle, knowing how much I would put in a week. Um, anything. I mean, you got to budget everything. And this is just for you to survive. So as in like, you need maybe $50 a week for food or whatever. I mean, whatever the amount. Um, and that would be your that would be your like base amount. So you knew like if you if you get paid every two weeks, how much paychecks uh, or how much money would you be coming in, and then you could figure out exactly how much you would need to survive. And I did everything from one through the fifteenth, and then fifteenth through the thirtieth, or thirty first, or twenty ninth. Um, and I would do my budget that way. My bills, I would be paid one through the 15th and I would subtract my expenses and then I would know how much money I would have left over. And when you realize that amount, you're like, well, I got a lot of money <laughs> left over or, you know, I have a little bit left over that, you know, month, usually my smallest amount that I had left over was the 15th through 30th. Um, so I always knew, hey, you know, I need a budget ahead of time or save a little bit extra money in case I need something or something comes up. Um, and so that was my main thing. And I really think it's really important uh, to really budget. Uh, you don't realize how much you're spending until you make a budget, until you realize where your money is going. I mean, you could figure out that your money was going into little things or big things and you're just like, oh, I, I didn't need all that clothes or I didn't need that uh, extra membership or subscription that I don't use. You know, maybe I could take a six month break from that and then you could save up that money. And I really recommend it. Like, I really recommend budgeting. You're not going to be able to go through this journey without a budget because you really need to know where your money's going. And when you become intentional, like... When you really know where your money is going, that is when you really make like a big segue. You're like, oh, maybe I can squeeze an extra $20 next month, you know, and make it, you know, and then you just, it just begins. And then you start doing garage sales, you know, that was another thing in the budget. It's like garage sales, find an extra income, a side hustle. Um, I'm actually barely going to start my side hustle. Uh, my boyfriend's really into like stocks and all that. And then I found something that I'm really into. So I, once I start all my research and actually begin my side hustle, you know, maybe post about that if anyone's interested. Um, I'm very into the legal field. So that's kind of like what I wanted to do. And then the last, uh, portion of the video, and I don't want to make it so long. Um, because I want for you to, through my story, hopefully be motivated, you know, to begin yours or wherever you are in your journey. And, um, my journey started, you know, with my sister and I was actually working part time. I was studying for the LSAT. So, um, I knew I was going to go back to school. So I knew that, um, I needed like an internship to be able to study for my exam. And when I got started, I was like, I can't work here anymore. I need to find a full-time job. I need to, you know, do something else. Uh, so I quit my job. Um, and it's funny because he asked, why are you leaving? I was like, well, I have stuff to pay, you know? And it was for real. Like, I made my list, my debt snowball, and that's from smallest to largest, which is your baby step two. Um, and I knew that I was like, wow, $15,000 I can't pay with my current pay raise or pay rate that I was making hourly so I decided I started applying for jobs and uh, I left there and I started working full-time 
And another question that I got is, what is my profession? So I am a currently a litigation paralegal. So I work in personal injury. Um, and I've always been interested in the legal field, as in hence why I'm taking my LSAT or took the LSAT at that time. And I am currently in, uh, just got admitted into law school on Friday. So I'm really excited and I am going back to school. And so the biggest thing for me was to uh, be able to pay off all my debt before I went back to school. That was number one priority, especially when I started on the journey. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, I'm going back to school and hopefully I'll be posting another video of like being able to pay for school, uh, without taking any loans. Like I'm not, I'm going to start applying for scholarships. I'm going to find out extra income, you know, get my side hustle going, start saving all the money that I can, you know, and I, I want to do this and I'm committed to doing this. Um, and I refuse to get any loans for law school. I'm going to be paying everything out of pocket, and hence why I'll be taking uh, going to school part time. I'm not going full time. I'm not going to quit my job. Um, I don't want any loans at all, <laughs> and I refuse to do it. Especially being on the Dave Ramsey journey, I refuse to do it. Um, and another question that I got is, how did I travel? So. I traveled because my boyfriend, Rob, <laughs> works in an airlines, and so I'm his companion, hence we fly standby. Um, out of my nine trips that I took, uh, a lot of people were like, how did you do it? Um, um, not all of them were far away, and I didn't take nine trips to Europe or anything. Um, uh, two of them, I think, were like one in Austin, and I stayed at my friend's place. Um, and then one was back in his hometown and we stayed with his parents and it was like your parents cook food for you They want to feed you. So it wasn't like I was spending any money. Honestly, like I don't I don't even think I spent anything when I went there um, But it's all about being intentional and having a budget. I really didn't shop This is where I listened to the minimalism uh, Netflix and so I got rid of a lot of my clothes. I only keep statement pieces in my clothing, you know, and that would be like another thing uh, if you're ever interested in that. Um, and so I stopped shopping. Um, if I did have to buy something, it had to be like essential for something that I really needed. Um, I really cut down. I didn't eat. And it was really weird because I started my new job and I, not, I was really reserved because I didn't want to make many friends at work as weird as that is because I didn't want to have lunch buddies um, I wanted to cut down my costs I ate lunch at in my desk all the time so that was like a big thing I wanted to uh, save my money as much as I could and cut every cost and it's weird because now that I am debt free I still do it every day at lunch I'm like oh what can I like take for leftovers where can I eat I mean you're talking about everything so that was like a big thing for me that was like the big thing of how I was able to travel. Um, yeah, so it's all about your priorities. Um, and the biggest thing that a lot of people say, I didn't really follow Dave Ramsey 100%. Um, and it is true because you're not supposed to travel while you're on the journey. For me, I knew I was going back to school. And at that point, it was an opportunity to take. Um, and we weren't, we weren't going shopping and Colorado or anything. I mean, we were going on hikes. We find out places that we could spend the least amount of money. Uh, we're both very uh, saving people, so we're we're like, okay, you know, we go on these trips and we honestly see how like how least money we can spend on a trip. So we're not like going to dinner and be like, let's go, you know, one hundred and fifty dollar dinner tonight. You know, we're like, okay, breakfast maybe McDonald's or let's like go to Walmart, buy some like snacks. And um, so we're, I guess it's, if you're both compatible in that way of like, let's just, we're not big spending people. We're all about saving our money. So I think that was like how we were able to travel so much as well. Um, so yeah, that was it. I hope that wherever you are in your journey that you got this, that is number one. Um, you know, just like I said, there's three tips to get you started. Um, and uh, that's it. I mean, Dave Ramsey has forever changed my life. I'm so grateful for him. Like, I can't even explain uh, 
um, a little side note was like, I didn't even know about retirement. Even when I first started my first job at 22, uh, they asked me about 401k. I was like, no, I'm not going to put money into retirement. Um, and a little bit, you know, growing up in a Mexican background, uh, that wasn't a priority, you know, paying for or saving for retirement. Uh, and our culture is very like you're going to move into, you know, your child's house one day and they're going to take care of you, you know. Um, so retirement wasn't a big thing taught in my household. So Dave Ramsey has forever changed me. Um, I bought the pre-order the book for Chris Hogan, uh, How to Become a Millionaire. Um, and I hope that changing my life now at 25, you know, and I'm going to turn 26 this year, um, that. I can forever change my life and hopefully, you know, teach that to my kids. And so that is it. Thank you so much.